The Premier says an overhaul of liquor licensing laws will turn Perth into a hipster capital, but critics think we have a long way to go. There's a new push tonight to allow street drinking and smoking in pubs to help WA shake its nanny state tag. It was 8.30 in the morning, but what better way to toast an overhaul to WA's liquor licensing laws than with a drink at a city bar? Lovely. The Premier confident the changes will make Perth a hipster paradise. Uh, we all know uh, hipsters uh, all want to go to Melbourne uh, to have fun. Uh, we want to make sure Perth competes on a level playing field with Melbourne. As first revealed on Nine News last night, the most significant reforms to WA's liquor laws in a decade will be introduced to Parliament next week. Small bars and taverns will allow customers to take unfinished bottles of wine home. Licensed restaurants with a capacity of less than 120 people won't need a separate permit to serve alcohol without a meal. And the CEO of Tourism WA will have equal say on new liquor applications. It makes a whole lot of sense for people to have a glass or two and be able to seal that bottle and take it home. The hospitality industry hopeful it'll create jobs and a more vibrant purse. You over time discourage that idea that the intent of going out is to get hammered and then go and hurt someone. But whether the changes will create the sophisticated drinking culture the Premier wants is up for debate. Critics say without changes to other laws, the nanny state is here to stay. It seems much like the beer being served at the new Perth Stadium. The new reforms are a little mid-strength. Liberal Democrat Aaron Stonehouse says customers should be allowed to drink on the pavement and smoke in bars. He also wants shopping hours to be deregulated. I don't think bureaucrats who you know, wouldn't know fun if it kicked them in the pants should be making decisions about where restaurants are opened. The state opposition is also pushing for deregulated shopping hours. The government says it's not planning any retail reforms. Tegan Sapwell, Nine News. And we would like to know what you think, what nanny state rules should be dropped here in WA. Head to the Nine News Perth Facebook page to have your say.